okay so uh, today we have the uh, important topic so before going to that one uh, i just want to ask you a question so what is the material normally we, are, we use for the chilled water above ground stainless steel or hdp for the chilled water above ground schedule 40 pipe sir schedule 40 but what is the pipe name stainless steel also has the schedule 40 what is the pipe name carbon steel or mud steel carbon steel yes correct okay so the most common type of material used in the chilled water system oil and gas application is carbon steel pipe for both underground and above ground so for the <clears throat> There are three types of uh, chilled water pipe. Mostly we are using for the chilled water system. ASTM A1, uh, ASTM A53, ASTM A106, APA5L. So ASTM A10, ASTM A53 uh, is, means like a black and hard deep galvanized pipe. So it will come with a zinc coating. Sometimes it will be coming with a coating. Sometimes it will not, it will not come with a coating. Uh, it will come with a welded pipe and seamless pipe so welded pipe means um, you can see the round of the pipe there will be center of the pipe there will be some welding will be there seamless pipe means the full pipe will be without welding is called as a seamless pipe the ASTM A106 means it's another another grade so this is called as a seamless pipe seamless carbon steel pipe mainly used for the high temperature till 750 degree Fahrenheit so we have the high temperature limit so we can use these two pipe also in the chilled water system and we have the third pipe mainly developed for lion pipe. Lion pipe means mainly developed for the oil and gas application also. And it is allowed to use in the chilled water also. There is no issue. But the issue is this pipe is a bit expensive compared with all these things because this pipe has some additional hardening process. You know, when you go for the, when we studied in the uh, engineering time, we know the hardening, annealing, uh, there are some treatment will come, the chemical treatment. So this pipe, mostly they are using for the oil and gas because it has some special uh, treatment in the during the manufacture so so that's the reason uh, it is expensive but coming to the concept point of view uh, means the expensive point of view ASTM A53 is a very low expensive material compared with the other two that's the reason we are normally using ASTM A53 pipes compared with the other and uh, if you see the uh, type there are plenty of types are there uh, not plenty like three types so types and grade we have type F type E type S for the ASTM A53 pipe so type F means it's a furnace butt welder pipes it can be grade A and B so you can see in the when you receive the material in the side, you can see which grade they are using, grade A or grade B. Each grade has different tensile strength and yield strength. For example, if you see the table here, uh, grade B has higher tensile strength, grade B has higher yield strength. So that's the reason normally for all the chilled water application, we are using the higher tensile strength, the higher yield strength, the grade B material compared with the grade A material. And uh, it is like a type F means furnace butt welder. Uh, e type E means ERW welder. That means the pipe itself will come with welding or the pipe itself will come without welding. So type ES means seamless. So all this type ES, we have the arrangement. So and it has some grades, grade A and B. For all the arrangement, we have the grade and E B. The pipe will come with the welded pipe. It can be grade A or B. The pipe will come without the welding pipe. It can be grade A and B. So how the pipe is prepared, that is decided type F, type E, type S. So after that, what type of material type grade A or grade B, that is next to next to that. So this is how we are classifying the pipes, ASTM A53, 106, APFIL, after that type S, type F, type E or type S. So based on your client requirement, client will say sometimes I need only seamless pipe, I need only the welded pipe. So what your client says that we can follow. And what next to that, the grade. So always 100% the client will recommend grade B because of the tensile strength and higher yield strength. And similar to ASTM A53, ASTM A10 pipes are also there with the same different grade and different application. So as I told you mainly for the higher temperature we are using ASTM A106. So chilled water temperature is very low like for 4.4, 5.5 that limit only there maximum 16, 20 degree it will go. So that, that is the reason this, uh, this pipe also we are using ASTM A10 pipe also we are using for the chilled water application. This temperature is very low. It's not an issue for that. Coming to the sizes. Uh, from 1 by 8 inch to 48 inch or 6 mm to 1200 mm available for the ASTM A106 grade. So this is also a good uh, alternate approach for the chilled water material and coming to the pipe thickness. Uh, so I have one small question. Uh, if I say the carbon steel chilled water pipe with the 4 inch, 4 inch pipe. So the 4 inch pipe means it is the inner day or outer day? Inner dia, sir. It will be the nominal dia. Hmm. Nominal dia. What about others? Inner dia or outer dia? 
he told Namila Daya and Nitish. So Namila Daya mean what? Is he inner day or outer day? It's between ID plus OD by uh, it's between there too. That's exactly correct. Okay, so let me go to the same concept. So pipes are defined based on the nominal pipe size. NPS, nominal pipe size. And thickness is classified based on the schedule. For example, if you see the thermosteel, how we define the thickness? Schedule 5, schedule 10, uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, uh, 60, 80, 100, it will go like this. If you go to stainless steel, same schedule 5, 10, 20, 30, 40 like that. But yes, will be added if you have the stainless steel. So the pipe dimension can be found in two standards. If you go to B31.10 ASME, you can find out the dimensions of carbon steel at T1.19 for the stainless steel. So nominal pipe size, first you see the outer dia. Outer dia you know, it's pipe outer dimension. Inner dia you know, it's inner dimension. Wall thickness, you know, outer dia minus inner dia is a wall thickness. The nominal pipe size, you see there is a different line is coming in between that. So you can see the dot dot line. The left side image, you can see one dot dot line. So that is called as a nominal pipe size. It is not outer dia, it is not inner dia. So in between that one, we have another size that is called as a nominal pipe size. But before going that, you just refer this table one time. So here you can see the pipe sizes, uh, different sizes I have given. Starting from 1 by 8 inch to uh, 10 inch. Let's say I will take the 1 inch pipe. So 1 inch pipe, uh, the outer dia, what they have given? 1.31 inch they have given. That is equal to 33.40 mm. If you go to schedule 10 1 inch pipe, it is 2.7 mm thickness will be there. If you go to schedule 30, it is 2.9. So you see the thickness is increasing. When the schedule is increasing, the thickness is increasing. So if you go to schedule 40, for example, 3.38. If you go to schedule extra strength, it is uh, 4.55. And if you go to schedule 120, it is 5.6.35. So schedule is increasing means the thickness is getting increased here. So now we will see the example. So here you can see, I have taken one 6 inch pipe, one 6 inch pipe, the 6 inch pipe outer dia from here is 6.625 inch, 6.625 inch is the outer dia of the pipeline. Schedule 80 thickness, so from the table I selected the thickness that is 10.97 mm or 0.432 inch. When it comes to inner dia, the outer dia minus inner dia which is equal to, outer dia minus thickness is equal to inner dia, that is 5.761 inch. So here outer dia different 6.6 inch inner dia 5.761 inch so then how the 6 inch i am telling outer dia different inner dia different but 6 inch means what then 6 inch is called as a nominal dia nominal pipe size so the question will come uh, so if i measure the center dot dot line x and it will come 6 inch or not so for this one we have another thing we to understand the nominal pipe size is very close very close to the inner dia but only for 1 by 8 inch to 12 inch for 14 inch and higher the NPS the nominal pipe size is equal to outer dia the concept is important till 12 inch the concept is different for example if you see here the right side image here it is 14 inch so till 12 inch is different above 14 inch what they are telling outer dia is equal to nominal pipe size so if you see the outer dia and nominal pipe size both are same inner dia only will be changing but come to the uh, less than 12 inch outer dia different inner dia different nominal pipe size different nominal pipe size will not be exactly 6 inch it can be slightly different so outer dia will be different inner dia will be different so nominal pipe size is the identification if you want to say some pipe size what you are saying that is the nominal pipe size outer dia will be different inner dia will be different okay so if i am saying 4 inch means 4 inch is the nominal pipe size but is the outer dia inner dia will change based on the schedule you are using the you can use the same pipe for the island gas you can use the same pipe for the chilled water so both application is different both the schedule is different so the dimension of the pipe size will be different so if you go to asne b31.10 that is for the carbon steel they have given different different uh, pipe sizes you can see here nominal pipe size they have mentioned and wall thickness also they will give different different based on the schedule so this is the first basic concept we have to understand regarding the pipe size what pipe material we are using, what are the schedule we have, what pipe grade we are using. So this is first related to the children of pipe sizing. Hello friends, one minute. We work so hard to collect all the information from various sources to give you best understanding of the subject. Most of the people watch the video but they don't subscribe. Please motivate us by subscribing our channel to post more and more technical videos for you. Thank you.